And as people in parts of Karnataka are battling the flood situation, Karnataka Public Works Minister H.T. Rivana was seen throwing relief material at the flood victims in the name of distribution. Take a look at these visuals on how H.T. Ravana, who is also the Chief Minister's brother, he is the Chief Minister Kumaraswamy's brother and he can be seen throwing packets of biscuits at people in the name of distribution. At a time when Karnataka is reeling under a heavy rainfall and it's battling the flood situation there, the Karnataka PWD uh, putting out a display of complete high-handedness. He is uh, also the Chief Minister's brother. He was distributing relief material when he uh, was throwing in the name of distribution uh, the biscuits packets at the people. You can see clearly of how he's distributing the relief material to the people out there. H.D. Revanna, who is also uh, the Karnataka Public Works Minister and he also happens to be the brother of Chief Minister Kumaraswamy. He can be seen throwing packets of biscuits at people in the name of distribution, throwing the relief material at the flood victims. And we are getting uh, Mr. Brijesh Kalappa, who is joining us on the phone line. Uh, Mr. Kalappa, would you like to just throw some light on what exactly uh, is taking place here in these visuals? We are seeing H.T. Rifana who has uh, come out and wanting to distribute relief material but we can clearly see him throwing biscuit packets at the people out there who are in need. The thing is the topography of Ku, because I myself come from Ku and I have not seen the visuals, I don't know what the visuals contain. Mm. But as far as the topography of Ku is concerned, it's impossible to reach point A to point B easily. And uh, one house is uh, very far away from the other, um, kilometers away. So I don't know if this has anything to do with the topography. But since I've not seen the visuals, I can't come in. But he is a very senior politician. And he is, uh, I think, a six or seven term MLA. And uh, I don't think he would be throwing packages the way you described. Certainly, if it's uh, not possible to reach well, out. Well, these, these visuals show that he's throwing these biscuit packets in the air towards uh, people. Uh, and, you know, he's the minister responsible here. He's also the uh, chief minister's brother. And... Uh, don't you believe some, some, an action some, uh, of this nature is absolutely insensitive in the light of the kind of situation that the state is facing? He's been seeing hurling these biscuit packets at the people. Uh, and, and that's exactly what's happening. He's come out to distribute relief uh, material out to people who are affected due to the flood situation in the state. And what he's doing in turn uh, is he throwing packets of biscuits, other relief material towards people. No, that could be seen two ways. One, it could be seen as high handedness like you're seeing it. But I would also say that supposing a person mm -hmm. is eager to reach the stuff and not wait for even a second that, you know, the stuff reaches them, then, he, then also he could, uh, you know, throw it. Or you, and you would see, seem, uh, it would seem to you as being insensitive, but to people who are hungry, who have not uh, received anything for days on end, it would certainly seem like a godsend. So it's a matter of perception, but I can only tell you that as far as he's concerned, he is, I think, a six or seven term MLA, and uh, he is a very senior politician, and he has been continuously winning. So this kind of high handedness, as you know, will not help anybody win an election, right? So the only fact that you know, he has an extraordinary track Absolutely. record, a track record itself shows that he has a great commitment and uh, humanitarian concern for the people. So this is all I can say on this subject. But it appears that he's doing a favor, you know, I mean, this is his duty, responsibility to provide relief material uh, to the people who've been affected due to the floods in the state. And what he's doing instead, instead of, uh, you know, delegating this work to other officers, perhaps he's himself trying to take that uh, onto his own hands and uh, not distributing it. In fact, throwing these biscuits to the people out there. Let's get in a word from Malvika Avinash of the BJP. Uh, Malvika, thanks for speaking to Miranav this morning. What do you make of this act of uh, high-handedness where this minister is seen throwing biscuits, flood, uh, flood affected people being treated in this manner uh, by the minister uh, responsible? You see, at the outset, let me tell you that the people of Kodago as well as Kerala 
are deeply distressed. A lot of them have lost their homes, their property, everything, and are homeless and are really distressed. At a time like this, I think compassion, uh, while uh, you know carrying on the relief work, is the least that is expected of politicians or ministers or whoever. Because they are also not magicians, one understands. They can reach out to people and help them. But when uh, such relief work mm. uh, does not have compassion in it, and uh, Mr. Ravana, just as you mentioned, they seem to be throwing those biscuit packets at people as if, uh, you know, he was doing them a huge favor. It really displaces insensitivity. And perhaps um, Mr. Kalapa, I saw, heard him explaining that, you know, he's a very senior politician, therefore he's allowed to do all this. I think that, again, you know, is greater insensitivity. One is for one person to be insensitive. It's, uh, it's great, more insensitive for another to defend it. And, uh, you know, it's sad that the Congress spokesperson is defending a JDS man's insensitivity. Even now, you know, coalition politics seems to be greater than compassion to human beings. Right. Well, that's their perception. And it's indeed unfortunate that he should behave like this. Perhaps he's never been caught on camera earlier, which is why we didn't know what his, uh, you know, what he thought of people and the distressed people. And now he has been caught on camera. And Madhika Vinash, continue being that. with us. Let's also get in a reaction from Tanbir Ahmed of the JDS. Mr. Ahmed, how do you respond uh, to this act of uh, high-handedness. Uh, as Malvik Avinash was saying that these ministers are there to serve the people who have been affected due to the flood uh, situation that's unfolded in the state of Karnataka. Uh, and at a time when compassion is needed, at a time when they need to serve the people, they are showing, you know, a, a full act of high-handedness. He's been clearly seen throwing biscuits at the people who, uh, who have been affected due to the floods in the state. How would you respond to this? See, my honorable friend Malika Avinash was talking about compassion. Yes, because of the state which has compassion, it has already spent uh, more than 50 crore rupees on the relief work and they are planning to spend another 1,000 crores on these. That is called as compassion. Compassion is standing with people when they have affected. Standing with people and bringing back them to life. See, Malvika Avinash and, and BJP especially started finding out problems on everything others doing. See, that is not a situation where a, a minister would go hug them, may make them comfort. No, the, 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 for that matter, army so many times drops the food on people's uh, rooftops. Sometimes, you know, you just, just this, I, I really agree that, you know, whatever happened, probably uh, may, may the... PWT minister would have... But there was no uh, need to plan, throw, the, throw, throw these food items. There was no the, need to the, throw what, these food what? items towards people. He could have easily delegated this work to someone else because this is an act of disgrace completely. Uh, and absolute it. no sensitivity he, shown by the minister in question. I'm sorry if at all you're saying, talking about sensitivity, then, then we are really taking this too far. Let us really see the relief work. Is the relief work happening and is the government of Karnataka really working? For both Karnataka and Kerala, yes, they are working. Are they building up uh, bridges? Yes, they are building up bridges. Are they providing food? Yes, they are providing food. Now here, uh, we are trying to find the problem in everything. Then, then it really shows the insensitivity of the opposition. Let them really come and you would delegate the authority and responsibility. All to right. Them. Let them carry out with compassion and give everybody a hug. <laughs> this is really not done. Not done. When somebody is really taking the social cause and working for the people of Karnataka, okay. here we come here and saying that we are not doing it, do we need to really learn from All that? right. All right, Tanvir Ahmed, you are defending this act, stating that, uh, that the state government has pitched in at a time when, you know, the state is under crisis and they've done their bid. But would you prefer, uh, you know, uh, at your end, wouldn't you prefer some kind of sensitivity from the people who are meant to serve you, who are meant to be there for you, instead of, you know, showing such disgrace and throwing food items towards you. That is the question. We thank you for joining us here this morning, Tanvir Ahmed of the JDS. Also, Malvika Avinash of the BJP, thanks for being with us. Brijesh Kalapa of the Congress Party, thanks for speaking to Mirana this morning. On that